And there's That's like, funny. trust me, a lot of these games, like, you would be surprised. Like, the hardest part of a board gaming is when you have friends who aren't, who are, who want to play, but aren't, like, into it. So right. it's like, here's this game, and they're like, I don't know if I like this game. It's like, you gotta play it. Like, just trust me. And, like, you also have to then find out that, like, some people don't like certain games. Yeah. Um, like, Brandon Green is not a fan of Betrayal at House on the Hill, even though everyone else in our group loves it. But really? we recognize, yeah. We played a version of that. It was, uh, that. We played a version of that. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we played the D&D version. This is the more, like, horror B-movie version of it. Gotcha. And he's not a fan of it. Why? Uh, I think because, I think part of it's because the first game we played was really long. <laughs> and that's, yeah, this game, like, you have to go into the Betrayal games not necessarily as a good strategy game, but as a let's see what, what happens game. Yeah. And so, like, that's why I think doing this D&D was really smart. Right. that's D&D in a nutshell. It's, let's just go into it and see what happens. <laughs> um, Says, that's, uh, oh, that's me all the time. Tyler's character. No. Yeah. There's a difference. Um, but yeah, so, like, you, like, a lot of these games, it's, it's basically the hardest part is finding out what someone likes about a game and then just going off from there. But then also allowing them to uh, broaden their, their tastes, expand a little bit on what they find interesting and whatnot. Uh, that's why the Dice Tower Con's nice, is because I don't have to buy a game. And it can be like, let's try it out before you see if you like it or not. That's legit. Yeah. Um, but no, there are a lot of fun games. Co-ops are fun. Uh, at one point in our gaming group, we actually had a ratio of how many, of who've won, how many times they've won, stuff like that. Yeah. I had the highest win percentage, and I think I barely, for the first year and the second year, had the highest ratio. But that makes sense. I'm going to be at the most games, because it's my collection. Yeah. And then... I think that's why we all team up. I think that's why they have, like, for, like, beating you. <laughs> I have to figure out if I want to censor that or not. I'm probably going to just to be safe. Uh, but yes. <laughs> I might have something to... Well, we stopped doing that just because I didn't want to keep track of it anymore. Um... But yeah, no, there's a lot of fun games. Uh, what was funny is, there was a guy who had, who was there the most amount of times, obviously, it's like for me. Uh -huh. But had the lowest win. He won like three times. Is that about Pedro? No, I'm talking about Ben. No, really? Yeah, Ben did not do well. He always kept a... He would show up as much as he could back when he was living here. All right. And and then he just never really won. It was that's, very, that's very patient. No, um... I was that was always thinking it was Pedro because when I've come over here and we and you guys have and I've played with you guys, you guys have always seemed to like team up against Pedro. Pedro takes too long. <laughs> he's the he's the thinker. He's the I gotta analyze every possible option and I'm like, or you could just look at what's beneficial to you and analyze that. You know, skip a few steps. No, every possible option. And so like I've learned learned what games not to play with Pedro. <laughs> or if we do, it's gotta be like very few options. Right. Uh, yeah, that's... I did like that one game where we were like guessing like words and stuff like that. Oh, code names? Yeah. Yeah, the, the board gaming community has uh, opinions on that. Some aren't fans, and I'm just like, look man, whatever people have fun with. If I have fun and others have fun, I don't care. But yeah, I love code names. Uh, the pictures one is just as fun too. Overall, it sounds like it's, it's pretty. That's not, that actually sounds pretty legit. Yeah. No, and like what's nice is that. For the most part, the community's pretty, pretty, open, pretty chill. Though. Pretty chill. Like if you go to a convention where it's like, "Hey, let's play board games," like no one's like, "You can't play with us." I. It's like, sorry, you can't sit here. It doesn't go Mean Girls on you. That would be interesting. Oh, you're a, you're a deck builder kind of guy. You can't sit with us dice chuckers. Sorry. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> No, board gaming is really fun. It really is. Like, uh, it's it's expensive. It's so expensive. Let me tell you. So there's cool. a Cool Stuff Gaming, which is a really nice local uh, game store in Florida. Yeah. They have an online presence, and if you buy so much, you have like the tiers, which will give you like certain percentage off of stuff. Oh god. I mean, I've numbers. already made it to the highest tier. <laughs> I've already spent over five thousand dollars at that store. Well, that's, Jeez. 
But they also sell D&D, Magic the Gathering stuff, so it's not solely this. But listen, man, when you are in college and the government literally just gives you money... Jesus. I mean, I'm still paying for it, thanks to student loans, so... Technically, this is all getting paid for anyway. Jesus. Oh, God. Hey, you don't have to pay for it. I know, but still. (laughs) Yeah. That's five grand. What else would you spend five grand on? Games when we crap a night in my life. Yeah, exactly. You would spend it on on video games, which I would argue this is more practical because... Cause no, 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 no. No, no, I don't need refra- to, no, no, I don't no. need okay, okay, the newest okay. console. No, let, let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Let us rephrase. Let's bring it back a little bit. Let's bring it back. Take it back now, y'all. Exactly. I would not spend. I would not spend all that money on just video games. You'd also spend it on useless stuff you'd never do. You would just put on a shelf, right? Yeah, I, I told you. We're st- I, we already talked about. This. I'm starting an anime collection. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to have that. I'm going to have that one. I'm just gonna have that one bookshelf, which is full of full of manga, and then the, that, the that glass was, casing. That right, yeah. Like I like that is the that is the end game, and then I'm just gonna have like shelves with just literally with just literally figurines just layered all over my room. Like it's gonna be legit. Like, when gonna, you get the money. When I get the money. <laughs> yeah. We don't make enough. I got. I had the lowest bracket on tax returns. That's what happened there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm getting $900 back, so I ain't complaining. Hey, man. Get what you got, bro. But, yeah, and what's, yeah, and then there's, there's another, there's a website that can tell you, Board Game Geek, that, like, has a bunch of reviews on it already. Yeah. It tells you what a lot of people, um, what they believe is the best amount of players per game, stuff like that. Uh, it's, it's fun. It's not bad. It's kind of an interesting thing. Yeah, it would be nice to have game nights get back to a normal schedule, but that probably won't happen until we have jobs that don't make us work at nights. Because, you know, we're the youngins, so they're like, eh, you got nothing to do, work at night. Pretty much, that's how that works. Oh, and then, yeah, there's so much, man. Once again, four days straight, I'm just closing. I'm actually getting a Thursday off for the first time in a while next week, which is nice. Thursday, I want to freaking, I just want to freaking Saturday and Sunday off. Well, I've gotten, I've requested Saturdays and Sundays off before, but you know, it feels like the only time I actually ever get them off is when I request them off. Yeah, I get Sundays off. Oh, aren't you lucky? No, it's because religious reasons. Ugh. It's okay. So, if you were to forced to pick right now based solely off of the cover, what game would you want to play? Fallout? I'm gonna let you know we would have to do some rules tweak. Wait, Scythe or Fallout? Scythe. Scythe? That is a big game. So it's basically, think of it as like steampunk European 1920s. And by European 1920s. No, I mean like literally you play as Russians, you play as. Exactly, exactly. That's sorry. Knock off Russians, but Russians. (laughs) Uh, That's exactly what I was thinking when I saw that. When I saw it, I'm like, Russians. Knock off Russians. Yeah, so basically the idea is like you have little figures and you're trying to like, it's a very big game. Are you trying to create communism? No. You're, you're, Dang it. you're <laughs> a bunch of different factions who's trying to get control over the So land. you're trying to establish communism. Uh, yes! <laughs> maybe, if, maybe if you're the Russians, sure. Uh, but what, yeah, so like you have like these big walkers yeah. things. They're like AT-ATs from Star Wars, but every single one of them has it. You also got like your leader, and your leader's a really nice looking mini that's like like she's one of the leaders, mm-hmm. but then she also has like her animal, and they each have an animal. So one of them is like literally riding like a giant boar or something like that. It's 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 insane and it's great. Yes. Uh, it's does uh, the Russian have a bear? I don't remember if the Russian has a bear. Dang it! I know someone does. I don't remember if it was the Russians. If we play it, I need the bear. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> if we play it, I need the bear. There's just a lot in that game, which is nice. And I gotta play the Russian and I need to bait. That's all there, I want. But, like, here's the thing. That game is a, okay, we're setting it up. This is a, this can be a, like, a long game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna it can establish, be, like, three hours. I'm establishing my own communism. It's gonna be called the, the conglomerate of Darius Krasov. Oh, actually, no, 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 rather, the, congl- okay, the conglomerate of Dogen. Okay, this isn't civilization. <laughs> it's gonna be called the conglomerate of Dogen. There is a civilization. 
There and is, they will worship me. There is a civilization <laughs> board game. They will they will worship me as Lord God Savior. <laughs> I feel like us playing civilization would be very interesting. It also be, I don't know if we want to do that unless we did like the rounds or like a minute civilization. But even then that's like still three hours. Civilization's a long game, man. Well, that's fine. We'll have to like get a day where we're all three of us are off and we have the entire day. About like a Saturday. Uh, like, probably like a Saturday where we could just sit there and film, film us playing games and it's show. Oh, board games? Yeah. Oh, yeah, easily. And be well, that's, again, that's something I want to do. We just need the second camera and then the overhead camera. Yeah. Which, uh... <clears throat> cough it up. I'll give it to some. I was saying, at some point, I would like money. <laughs> I'll, cough, I'll cough it up tomorrow. Um, I get paid tomorrow, so, nice. you know. Yeah, we do. And I get my tax refund sometime next week. Good for you. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, they're fun. And, like, I I think the hardest part is getting, because obviously, like, there's that understanding of nerds, bit, like, it's the, the, the dude who lives in his mother's basement who's overweight and hasn't talked to a girl in years, right. who plays board games. What's nice is YouTube, with the advent of YouTube, there's so many, like, Will Wheaton did a board gaming, uh, show for a while, and right. you get, like, Hollywood people on there. And you'd be like, oh my gosh, Karen Gillian is a, is playing a board game? That's cool. Yeah. Like, people you wouldn't expect, and then, of course, the people you would expect. <laughs> Seth Green? No. No way. Man, he's a nerd. <laughs> Samuel uh, Jackson watches anime? <laughs> <laughs> never. <laughs> what? I never would have guessed that from Afro Samurai. <laughs> right. Uh, no, and so, like, that one has faded, just drama. Uh, but there's still a lot of people who play board games constantly, just, like, and everything else on the internet, you can go into that deep rabbit hole, and it will be deep. No, yeah, man. No, this is no, this is definitely an abyss. I do not want to go anywhere near. I was saying you heard, lucky enough, you already have a friend who has gone deep into that abyss. Right. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. No, there's a lot. No, of... you stare. You definitely stared down the abyss, and it definitely, and it definitely looked back at you. And I punched you in the face with five thousand dollars. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> where I'm just, where I'm just like in the distance, just watching. I'm like. What's also funny is I've had people who are like, no man, Ed, we're, we're a board gaming group. We'll split the money to buy a board game. And I'm like, no you won't. <laughs> no you won't. Hey guys, I really want this one. It's uh, $300. No thank you. I actually try not to spend too much money. I want to say Scythe was, with the expansions I got, uh, was two hundred was about 100 Yeah. And then I got a custom uh, insert. It, there is a, oh, there is an industry for just making custom inserts to go into your board gaming box. It's a thriving industry too. I know. I know. All right, and I guess I guess that's enough. Darius is gonna go start gonna go start his own uh, insert company because he can make all the money there. Podcast is over, guys. Gotta go establish a, um, a communism conglomerate. Are you gonna? Are you no? Are you gonna like? Are you gonna mess it up this time too? What? No, that's fine. We'll just end it here. Um, I'm Frank Joseph Hall. I'm Darius Crosley. It was good to see you guys again. Even this though we been... don't see you. Right. But please, uh, make sure to uh, really subscribe. Our goal is the thousand followers so we can start making money off of this, and that is something we want to do. Right. Uh, anyway, we'll catch you next time, where it'll probably be us again. Yeah, yeah. definitely.